Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and in this video tip, I'm going to show you five steps to getting started with Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 10. Let's get started. Tip number one is to go to Options, Preferences, and on the Preferences page, choose the Display tab, and on the Display tab, uncheck Display Timeline at bottom of main window. When you uncheck it and click Apply, you'll notice it puts the timeline at the top and the preview, the trimmer, and the media pool on the bottom. But you'll find this a lot easier to edit once you do this. And tip number two, go to Options, go to Preferences, go back to the Display tab, and on the Display tab, uncheck Use Vegas Colors. Now the Vegas Colors are these dark colors you see on the screen here, and if you uncheck that, you'll get the lighter colors, which are a lot easier to look at while you're editing. So we're going to do that. When you click Apply after you've unchecked this, it's going to ask you to restart Vegas, so we'll do that next. So you can see it looks a lot nicer with the bright colors. And tip number three, we're going to declutter the screen. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the mixer. And this is the audio mixer. You rarely use that when you're editing because you can do specific volume control on each of your tracks. So to close that, we just close this little X right there. And you notice it immediately makes our preview window, this is what the, this window is, a lot larger. And when you're editing, you want the larger preview window so you can see what you're actually doing on the screen. That's tip number three. Now let's look at tip number four. And tip number four, you want to close the trimmer window. This is the trimmer window right here. The way the trimmer window works is that when you import media using Project Media, you can drag it over to the trimmer window. Once you've dragged a clip into the trimmer window, you can trim out just areas of that clip that you want to use. Say you just want to use that section right there, you can drag that up on the timeline. Now rarely do I do that. Typically what I do is I don't use the trimmer window at all. Let's delete that clip. What I'll do is I just drag the clip directly onto the window and then I can resize the clip without doing the trimmer window. And in fact, if I want to, I can split the clip and once I've split it, I can trim out the inside of it. So really, there's really no need for you to have the trimmer window and it takes up valuable space on the screen. So to remove that, you just click the X to remove it. Now that you have that removed, you may want to change the screen size so you can see more of what's going on the screen up here. Now let's go to tip number five. In tip number five, you'll want to go to View, you want to go to Windows Layouts. You want to save the layout you've just created. In mine, I put Bill's Clean Layout. I would click OK to save that. And it would save that layout. The reason you want to do this is that suppose you, you go through and somehow you have uh, moved things around and you can't find things on the screen. You can always click View. You can go to Windows Layout and you can go back to the default layout, which puts everything back the way it was when you first installed Vegas. Or if you want to, you can go to View. Windows layout, and you can you can choose that layout you just saved, and that makes editing a lot easier. Now you notice how nice and clean the screen is, so that when I bring projects online, it's a lot easier to see the things that I'm working on. For example, in this project, you notice that I have uh, several video tracks. This is my preview window. And this is my media pool. And the other thing about having this media pool large enough is that you can resize it so that your preview window is large, and you can click the tabs to see your explorer and your transitions and your video effects. It's a lot easier when you arrange your screen like this. I'm Bill Myers, and this has just been five quick tips to get the most out of Sony Vegas Movie Studio 10. You can find more like this at my website, www.bmyers.com, as well as my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Movie Studio DVD, which is available at my site, as well as at Amazon.com.